2011, the police department was notified they were awarded a grant under the COPS hiring program, CHP, in the amount of $448,996. The staff recommendation, City Council approved, approved the agreement to accept the grant. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Diane. Second, Your Honor. Second by Scott. Discussion. Earlier, Osama mentioned that uh, sometimes there are strings attached to federal grants, and this is an example, <clears throat> as I view it. Because after three years, uh, the city is required, as I understand, to continue the commitment for at least another year. Is, is that correct, Greg? Yes, in the fourth year. Okay. And that in itself could what cost 150,200 for the additional on page two of the memo it outlines exactly what the, we're estimating those fourth year costs to be which is roughly a hundred and ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars that's less than I would think for these salaries that would be involved right? the SRO officer would would revert back to the original agreement we had with the uh, school 75 25 okay. we'd be responsible for 25 percent of the SROs would, cost mm -hmm. Okay, the other part of what I wanted to say is the fact that we're committing the city council um, three years going into four years down the line <coughs> to this expense. Uh, now I'm not so sure that's a good idea, but we're forced into doing that if we're going to accept a nearly a half million dollar grant. So while I don't agree with the concept, uh, I guess I'm willing to go along with the gift that they're offering. Okay, anyone else, Council? Yes, great. Just a quick comment to follow up. You'll see in the budget, we'll be recommending that we, we break those costs out over the next three years. So you'll see a portion of those costs uh, in, in this coming budget and subsequent budgets to prepare ourselves for that fourth year. Okay. That would be good. And Jer Jerry, I, w I would think it would be that we could expect that we'd have to find another source for the, that funding, and it, it may come at the expense of some other cities service or something, but I, I personally think that the uh, public safety is, is well, needs to continue to be a high priority, so yeah, I'm, but I understand I, what you're saying. I, I wouldn't disagree, and I didn't say I yeah. didn't think that was important. But I also would say, though, as you're budgeting this, you're taking money that could have been used for something else in the budget in that process. So. Okay, anyone else, Council? <clears throat> no. No. Yeah. That's it. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries seven zero. The next item I'm just going to ask is there a motion to approve a request to approve City Council's goals and objectives for 2012? So, so move, moved. Your Honor. Moved by Diane. Second, Your Honor. And second by Phil. Discussion. Uh, yes, Mayor. Um, I copied everyone uh, on an email today. Um, I met separately with Greg. I wasn't available on the 8th uh, dis discussing our goals and objectives for 2012. And a couple of the issues that I brought up, um, they're not listed on, on the sheet here, but I felt they were important enough to bring up and maybe, maybe we can amend these and, and add them to the list. The first was that I feel we need to do an annual review of our ATE traffic camera system. Um, I, think we, I think we need to do an analysis really on a yearly basis to make sure that the cameras that we have in place, they make sense, they're, they're, they're proving that they should be where they are. We need to ask if there are areas that maybe could benefit from having cameras there, um, and of course, if if we feel the ordinance is sufficient, or if we need to make any changes to that, so I think I I, I think that should be a goal, really, annually for us to review that system now that we've implemented it. Uh, the other objective I have that I brought up um, relates to the really to the partially to the NCS survey and 
the response that we've had that uh, not entirely but but some of some of what we feel the results indicate is that we're not we don't have enough public awareness of what muscatine has to offer we're not we're not advertising ourselves well enough and so uh, I, I think we need to have some objectives to how we're going to improve that how are we going to improve how we market the city and I really think we, we need to have uh, some a plan some goals some measurable goals as to how we're going to do that both locally and looking more at tourism and throughout the state so what I'd like to do and I don't know Greg how you'd like me to do it if, if you'd like me to make a motion to amend to add these to the list or if we can just do it by consent if you're going to amend the actual goals I would suggest that you um, uh, do an individual um, motion however you, you don't have particular language tonight uh, Correct. unless you have something to offer uh, if you don't have the particular language uh, I can bring something back at the next meeting with particular language in it unless uh, if there's a consensus to move forward so I guess option one <coughs> since you do not I guess there is no option one if you do not have the language uh, I would suggest uh, not taking action tonight um, unless I mean if the council I guess disagrees and would like to proceed as presented they could certainly do that tonight as well I'd just make a comment we I I at least I don't know the whether everyone received it but I received the email that indicated what your goals were and and frankly I didn't feel that they were what I wanted to include so I didn't bring them up <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> And I just I didn't feel they were they were necessary so. hey, Diane and I I agree with what Phil's saying I don't think this um, in the goals and objectives that you, number one the issue of the marketing of our community that's something we can discuss about funding because you're referring to funding that we can do during budget session and the other one was the cameras and that's a three-year contract and I don't think it needs to be on a goals and objectives either one so I'm not in favor of it Council, anyone else? Your Honor, I, I believe yes. that uh, that we spent uh, a good number of hours discussing it. We came to a conclusion. I think we need to put it on on paper and 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 leave the rest alone. Put what on paper? <laughs> Currently, what we accept what's here. Accept what, what's here. What we have. Leave what we have. Uh, mm -hmm. Stay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, anyone else? Scott, do you have? Uh, actually, I was out of town today and hadn't seen your email. No. Mark, but uh, I guess I'm okay with keeping it the way it is. So, That's fine. And uh, Diane and Jerry. I would just comment on the uh, red light cameras that I expect that, you know, this is a topic that will con continue to come up and it will be reviewed, but we are uh, held to a three-year contract, so as far as that part's concerned, you're not going to be able to make any big changes there well I, I, I better I, I think I better clarify here I'm not talking about throwing out the ATE system but there as part of that three-year contract we of course have the right to review that system and, and say that well maybe there are maybe there are places where we would benefit from adding cameras or maybe one here should be moved to an intersection over here we can most certainly review that system and make alterations that was part of our discussion as the system came into being yeah. if i remember right well we'll certainly review them yeah, okay so. and this was brought forth by the police department and i expect that any changes would be brought to us too from that department if you know if, if there were recommendations so in other words that could be done outside of the formal objectives well, yeah. most definitely Okay, well, uh, it is a decision of council, and as far as I can tell, six to one, uh, uh, Mark, that uh, the uh, goals and objectives remain as is, at least for the time being. So we will move on. Okay. Uh, we have a motion on the floor. Uh, Diane, seconded by Phil. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. 
Okay, motion carries six to one. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to issue a purchase order for an archaeological survey. The city is in the process of a preliminary design for a Mississippi River slash American Discovery Trail that will go from Hershey Avenue to 41st Street. To 41st Street. The Iowa Department of Transportation requires a phase one archaeological survey be completed before design can begin. It is staff's recommendation to purchase recommendation a purchase order be issued to the Lewis Burger Group in the amount of $8,500 for this survey. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Jerry. Second. And second by Mark. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed that? Nay. Motion carries 7-0. <clears throat> Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to declare property at the water pollution control plant as surplus property and authorize its donation. The WPCP has two service, two surplus balances in storage. It would like to donate to Muscatine Community College. Before this donation can take place, the property must be declared as surplus. Is there a motion to <coughs> approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Phil. Second. Second, <coughs> Second by Osama. Discussion. Mayor. Ma'am. When they, when it's referred to the balance, what does that mean? It's scale. A, it's scale. a scale Chemi for chemistry. Oh, okay. All right. I get it now. Okay. Thank you. For the discussion. <laughs> Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 7 0. It is time for council comments. We'll start with a Mark. I have nothing tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bill? Nothing at the time, Your Honor. <clears throat> Scott? Nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. Osama? I have nothing tonight. Thank you, Your Honor. Bob Bynum? Your Honor, tonight, uh, or rather that this whole day, uh, 32 years ago, I'd just like to commend my wife. Uh, and uh, today's our wedding anniversary of 32 years, and I just want to say thanks for her to to keep me. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thanks, Bob. My sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Condolences are in order. Okay. <laughs> Put that in the newspaper, will you? <laughs> He's going to pay for it. <laughs> Diane. Well, I've got, like always, I know I have, I have a couple things. Uh, one is I'd like to introduce my MCC students. Three of them are back here, right? Uh, just two. Oh, just two. I, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, I thought my, the third student had showed up because I haven't met them all. But they're government students, and they are um, been here um, following council, probably the first council meeting you've ever attended, correct? So anyway, welcome and thanks for being here and learning as we go. Enjoy having you around. <laughs> the other is Halloween is next Monday, or the 31st, is that right, Mayor, 530? Yes. Because I've been asked that a few times. Yes. Okay, so. You voted on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, but that doesn't mean I remember. <laughs> but, uh, please everybody save your um, <laughs> Butterfinger candy bars. And the other, <laughs> ooh, and the Taste of Education, uh, the MCC Alumni Association, and we do a Taste of Education, those of us who are on the board, do a Taste of Education Sunday afternoon from four to six. And for $6, you can graze and eat food from Muscatine vendors, and it's really good. And the money that we raise helps with projects at the college for the students. So it's a fun time. You get to see a lot of people, and you could eat a lot for $6. So please come and join us. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Jerry. For the sake of brevity, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Craig. Nothing tonight, Your Honor. And Ms. Ram. Nope, I have nothing tonight, Your Honor. Well, thank you very much. I would just mention that yesterday we did have the dedication of our new Army Reserve uh, Center down just, which uh, location is just south of our municipal airport. 
Uh, the dedication, I thought, was